fall? This fall? Uh, yeah, August 29th. Seems like August 29th yeah, yeah. is the worst day of the year for us. Katrina hit August 29th. Isaac hit August 29th. And Ida hit August 29th. Wow. Yeah. wow. And all three of them flooded the heck out of me. Katrina from that way. So the water only got to about this high. Because there was no back levee when mm -hmm. Katrina came through in 2005. So the water crossed and just kept on going. As Isaac came in, it missed us to the west, and it pushed all the water. There's a levee up the road about 12 miles, and there's a levee down the road two miles. And they're big enough so that Ida and Isaac wouldn't cross those levees, but it came right between because we have a little bitty four-foot levee out here. So the water came right across that four-foot levee and filled in for Isaac up to here. And then for Ida, another foot. So this time we had the levees built a little higher over here. They finished all the concrete structures and they finished, you know, boxing out some communities, which was terrible, I thought. And they put a new pump station and a levee two miles south of us to the tune of $70 million that protected nobody. Hmm. And the pump didn't work. And then they built these partial levees that uh, didn't keep the water out, but kept the water in. And they didn't put pumps and generators and fuel on the new levee. So the water came across and just sat in here. And it was a mess. I mean, it was a, it was a, I didn't, this time I'm like, how am I gonna clean this up? And I've never hired a remediation company or people to clean off my property before, but I had to this time because there was, there was like this much thatch and marsh and mud throughout the whole property. So we had to get three um, bobcats with them. We're going to plant now? Yeah. Who talking about? They've been working all day. They might just want to relax and eat crawfish. No, we're going to plant. We're going to plant. We're going to plant. They put a lot of this stuff in the wrong place. So they were planting. Y'all stages. We've got a big delivery of furniture today, of rugs today, of mm. plants today. Today was a busy day and y'all showed up. But You're welcome. I, I, I ordered all this furniture like six months ago and it came today. Mm -hmm. Hey, Heather, you got us some crawfish? Sure is. These guys are ready to eat some crawdads. They got to go mm. to work first. No. Yeah, we got to work, <laughs> work first. That's we exactly work correct. Appetite first. Exactly They've correct. been working. No, we gotta work more. You gotta work more. <laughs> gotta work more. Okay. Let's go plant so, some stuff. Okay, but I've gotta look and make sure. Uh, it, 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 yeah, yeah, we don't want to. We don't want. I've never placed plants before these guys. It's the first time they've ever done. It. Okay. So he's been working in my yard for a year and a half. 
don't shouldn't do design. <laughs> like my, carpenter, my carpenter tries to do design work. I'm like, don't do that. You change it. I'm like, you just build what I tell you to build exactly like I tell you, and it and it works out well. And I'm like, whenever he does it the way I tell him, it works out beautifully. And he can, he's a carpenter. I'm no carpenter. I can't build anything, but I can design it. Like that, that big swing over there. He tells, that's not going to work. That's not going to. If we build it like that, I said, just build it like a town. He built it like he goes, look, it works perfectly. I'm like, really? <laughs> just, and whenever he goes off course, we have to do it again. <laughs> so he doesn't go off course very often anymore because sometimes I make him do it on his time on Saturday. So he didn't like that at all. <laughs> it's a big So he lets me design it. <laughs> I said, look, if I design it and mess it up, have you do it again, it's on me. If I just do the design and you don't do my design, then it's on you. Life lesson. Life lesson. But he's building something else now. He left me for the first time in 12 years. He restored that building. He no one else could have. No one else could have that down. He restored that one. He built all the money. Beds and furnishings here. Repairs everything. Every time we have a restore. He does it all. He doesn't matter if I hire anybody else. But he takes a lot. So I bring plumbers and HVAC and electricians and painters in. You know what you're doing, 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 you know what you're doing. Right around there with his uh, Jeep. <laughs> Liam! His truck. He's right back there. His wagon's his truck. Liam! You went, you went around that way with the wagon, I thought. Oh, he went that yeah. way? Yeah. Yeah.